Hi everyone, it's Cassie my Cross YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a season review for 2021 for the Adelaide Cross. If you are a returning Cares of Main Pies, welcome. If you are new to the channel and you're watching this for the first time, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I had Adelaide 18th, but they jumped to 15th with seven wins on the ladder for 2021. Under Matthew Nix in his second season, to be honest with you, yeah. COVID years that affected it, um, but they've had four wins compared to last year, so I think that's a huge tick. Um, I think now with Adelaide, if they can start to perform, and what I mean by perform, like saying well in the early part of the season, and they're doing their rebuild, so it's not going to be as high as what you want. Um, you want to continue to have the development of getting that two or three more wins. If you get more than that, I think that's a huge bonus and a huge success that I feel for the Adelaide Crows. Um, I'll go through the, the positives and the negatives for, for that. I think the positive was that the showdown the second time they played. I, think, I thought they played really well. Didn't get the job done, but... It is what it is. They beat Melbourne the first time. So I think that's a huge sign that they just lost to us. Um, so th there's always ticks on that compared to wins. Like they beat North Melbourne the last game of the season, which I think, to be fair, that they came out hungry for Dave Mackay, who his last game of AFL football. So I think that you're going to get that as well. Um, but it is what it is when it comes to that. Um, the negatives, I feel, um, the, the off-field stuff has taken its toll, um, and the smackings that they've had, like, against Portland, that they beat the Gold Coast Suns, which I think that they probably should be, um, as a positive, I feel like this has to be a better season, I feel, offensively, um, The game point is to keep going and keep um, developing it, um, add more layers to it um, defensively and offensively as well. Um, start of pre-season, I had them 18th and so they, they gave my expectations a little high on that. I don't think there will be much changes to that, but I feel like they're going to get there. Um, you know, I feel like in the next couple of years, I think we might see them have two or three more wins. They might jump a little bit on the ladder, I feel like, to, to really continue and, and pursue this um, as much as possible because we all know how good a team like the Allo Crows can be when they're playing really good football. Um, but they lost to Melbourne the second time. Um, you just feel like you always want to show effort. So if they can keep that consistency of having a few honourable losses, and what I mean a few, like three or four, so you reduce the win-loss record as the losing side of it. But if you can get, like, a 20-point win or 20-point loss, you can say, okay... We weren't expecting to win this game. We are expecting to get hammered. So you can be proud of that effort in the rebuild. And if we add two or three more wins, that's a nine-win season. I think that's something that you can take care of and, and you can deal with going forward. So I think that's a positive. It's always going to be positive at, at this stage of, of their careers, but... You know what? It should be interesting in itself because there are a lot of teams at the moment that's going to love the, the fact is that it's time to keep going. It really is. Um, how do I rate this? I'm going to give them a 5 
out of 10 only because I wasn't expecting them to perform like this. So next year, if they can keep going with their performances, I can't see why not. So I hope you guys do like this video for 2021. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you always think. If I'm too harsh, or should be lower, whatever. Um, I had them bottom two. Uh, mainly because I thought if Adelaide can well, finish 18th, I thought <sighs> last year, COVID year, I thought they, they built on with three wins on the trot. Lost to, I think, Hawthorne. They lost to Hawthorne by three points as well, and I think, pretty sure they lost to, to Essendon. Um, other than that, like, they've had a, a really good. Um, performance and you can see the improvement in the way that these guys are playing as well um you want to see Adelaide up there contending for finals and also they'll contend in the next three to four years to playing in finals I'm not too sure if they're ready to take that step yet that's my only concern so next year, if they have a nine-win season and they have a, a like eleven-win season, I feel like that's going to be a huge bonus to them for that as much as possible. So as usual, let me know what you think. Am I correct or am I wrong on that? Um, again, this is just my opinion. But until next time, please go the mighty pies.